Barcelona's recent and potential transfer activities, focusing on players like Nico Williams, Dani Olmo, Lenglet, Rafinha, and Pablo Torre. The video touches on several key points. Number 1. Apology regarding Nico Williams' transfer. The video begins by addressing the situation with Nico Williams, who was expected to sign with Barcelona weeks ago. However, recent reports indicate that Nico will stay at Athletic Club for another season. Barcelona had planned to only pursue Nico this summer, meaning if he remains with Athletic Club until 2025, the club may no longer be interested in him. This could lead Barcelona to shift their focus to other targets like Jamal Musiala or Florian Wirtz, who, although promising, would likely come at a high price. The video highlights the potential financial impact, noting that if Nico's release clause increases to 100 million euros next summer, it's unlikely Barcelona will be willing to pay such a significant sum given their financial situation. Number 2. Dani Olmo's potential signing. Barcelona has made a second offer to RB Leipzig for Dani Olmo after their initial 40 million euros bid, spread over four years, was rejected. The new offer totals 65 million euros with variables. The video expresses concerns about whether Olmo is the right fit for Barcelona's current system, especially considering his past injury issues. There's also a worry that this transfer might be driven by the board rather than Hansi Flick, Barcelona's manager. The video draws parallels to past transfers, like Vitor Roque, where players brought in by the board struggled due to the coach's lack of involvement in the decision. The emphasis here is on ensuring that any new signings align with Flick's tactical vision to avoid costly mistakes. Number 3. Critique of Barcelona's transfer strategy. The video criticizes Barcelona's focus on signing Dani Olmo while neglecting key areas like the central defensive midfield, CDM, and left-wing positions. There's frustration that these positions have not been addressed, and if Olmo is the only major signing this summer, it would be seen as a significant failure. The video highlights the need for reinforcements, especially considering the high-profile targets like Martin Zubamendi, Mikel Marino, and Joshua Kimmich, who have been linked but remain unsigned. The discussion underscores the importance of balance between relying on youth players and securing experienced reinforcements to compete at the highest level. Number 4. Clement Lenglet's potential transfer to Atletico Madrid. The video touches on Clement Lenglet's situation, mentioning his potential move to Atletico Madrid after disappointing stints at Barcelona, Tottenham, and Aston Villa. The video humorously suggests that if Atletico completes the transfer, Barcelona fans should show permanent gratitude, given the club's long-standing desire to offload him. Lenglet's departure would also relieve Barcelona of his wages, which is crucial given their ongoing financial challenges. Number 5. Rafinha's determination to stay at Barcelona. Rafinha's decision to stay at Barcelona, despite lucrative offers from Saudi Arabia, is praised. His commitment is highlighted as he enters his third season with the club, a critical period for proving his worth. The video discusses Rafinha's injury-plagued previous season but expresses optimism that he can contribute significantly to Barcelona's attack if he remains fit. A goal contribution of 25-28 to 28 for the season is seen as a realistic target. Rafinha's versatility and alignment with Hansi Flick's tactical approach are noted as key factors in his potential success this season. Number 6. Mikel Marino's near move to Arsenal. The video addresses the reports of Mikel Marino moving closer to signing with Arsenal, despite Barcelona's interest in him. The decision to let Marino go, given that Barcelona already has a well-covered midfield with players like Frankie de Jong, Gavi, and emerging talents like Mark Bernal and Mark Casado, is discussed. There's an underlying debate about whether Barcelona should focus on experienced signings like Marino or invest in developing the young talents. Num 7. Pablo Torre's Emerging Potential The video highlights Pablo Torre's impressive performances, including his goals in pre-season matches, and raises the question of whether he should be given more opportunities at Barcelona. At 21, Torre has shown significant potential, contributing both defensively and offensively, particularly in the central attacking midfield role. The video discusses Torre's competition for a place in the first team, given the presence of established players like Pedri, Gundogan, and Gavi. However, his recent performances suggest he could be a valuable asset if given the chance. Number 8. Barcelona's broader transfer window strategy. The video concludes with reflections on Barcelona's overall transfer strategy, noting the challenges of rebuilding the squad under financial constraints. There's a cautious optimism about the young talent emerging within the club 
but also a recognition of the need for strategic signings to compete at the highest level. The video calls for careful consideration of each transfer, emphasizing the importance of players who fit the tactical and cultural demands of the club, balancing immediate needs with long-term planning. Dash, dash, dash. This ordered format breaks down the key points from the video while providing a structured narrative around Barcelona's current transfer window and broader strategy. The overall tone suggests some frustration with Barcelona's transfer strategy and a hope that the club will make the right decisions in the remaining transfer window.